hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you'd like to see how i've done this extra quick look feel free to continue watching i hope everyone's doing well i'm on a roll i've done this is like my third or fourth recording today so i'm on the bell of a roll you know what i mean but um yeah i hope everyone's doing good i hope everyone's keeping safe um, I still have my online sessions, uh, my online classes. I had a client, bless her, she's so sweet. She had literally nothing, no products at all. And the products that she had, she had two eyeshadow palettes, she had foundation, she had um, concealer and a few brushes. So, but we done everything, we done smoky look with that. Do you get what I mean? You can use and utilize everything that you have. It's not necessary that a lip liner should only be used for lips. You can use them for, you know, make, doing blush, depending on what color it is. So I'm more than happy to cater to whatever products you have. If you are happy to actually purchase products, I can always, always recommend the products to get before we start the, we have the class. Um, you can order online I can recommend different places to order online um, if you are going out that's on you I wouldn't advise to go out just for makeups but if you want to go out for makeups I can tell you where to go but me personally I just buy everything online and um, what else is there to tell ya um, yeah I did this quick makeup look because I'm doing this recording for a channel um, so I just thought I'd decorate my face smart you know what I mean before I did that um, I hope you like it and I hope like I said before you can see the difference in the quality of the photos of the videos you know what I mean because I'm using some it is intergalactic the way the this 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 camera works is the robotics in it is just the technologies in it is just amazing it's amazing so I'm getting used to it um, but I love it, I do, I do like it, it does really make things much clearer, I hope you guys like it and I'm talking too much now so let me go, stay blessed, see you soon, take care, all my contact details will be in the um, description box and um, yeah, see you soon, bye! Hiya, Hiya. so let's get into it, so uh, I use my umbrellas, um Lay. I don't even know if I pronounce that properly, you know. But anywho, and then I used my Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I went in with my Smashbox um, powder as well. And then I used my Crayon Case brow pencil in, I think it was brown. I can't remember. I think it was brown. And um, yeah, I'm just putting it out. I've realised I need to go over my brows again. I, at the end to make them like stand out more I can't I don't feel like I like to do it right at the end everything at the end so you're gonna see me go over it again but anywho I then went in with my um, Juvia's Place and then my um, closer shade color to my my uh, shade in the front and the tail of my um, brows and then I went in with my Smashbox primer and while that was on, I was putting on my Juvia's Place concealer because I wanted to make it a little bit tacky before I used it. Then I first went in with the Nubian 2, actually I think it was a one palette look actually. Nubian 2, the orange and the Nubian 2, I don't know none of the names. It's just all in that thingy, it's all in that palette, let me not lie to you. So I went in with that for my transitional colour. And then I went in with the shiny, the blue, I forgot what it's called. Let me know if I'm gonna attempt it. I just went in with the blue. And then, honestly, this is meant to be the most simplest look I was gonna make, do. And it was just gonna be like a brown nude color. And then in the end, I don't know what happened. And I started putting all these colors on. Then I went in with the darker purple in the same palette. So you can see me doing that. And then all I really did was just try and smooth out the, um, blend out the tops of it because it looked too harsh to, um, you know, to remove all the harsh lines basically. So I did that first before I even started blending the two colours together, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, so that's what I done. I just um, blended the top and then I felt, oh, I want it to be, look a bit more, once I put the, spray the brush, it went on a lot more smoother and a lot more pigmented 
so that's what I did I didn't show you on the other eye but I did do that after after a while and yeah I'm just laying down the colors again the different eyeshadows again and then I'm, again I'm just blending it out blending 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 the top so you can't really see where the orange and the colors begin basically so yeah that's what I'm doing here I added a little bit more blue and as you can see I'm kind of blended the two colors together now then I went in with the Colourpop Villains um, I forgot what it's called Villains gel thingy from Colourpop and I just put a little bit of that in the middle just to create a bit more shimmer then I used Kat Von D's a tattoo liner which I like I think I like it when I use it by itself when the color is more to my complexion when I use it on shimmery colors I feel like it's a bit of a, a chore to, to put it on and then for my highlighting shade I use my color pop um, I forgot what color it is but yeah I use color pop for my highlighting well I use a foundation so that's the thing you can use foundation you can use concealer totally up to you um he does the same thing really um yeah up my nose and the bridge of my nose and i just blended everything out with my blue beauty blender as you can say then i went in with the foundation that i used as a traveling um i mixed it all up already so that had my um estee lauder with some rcma powder in it and my nw48 mac foundation powder in it as well so that's what i used today that was like yeah i made it when i was traveling um last year so that i didn't have to take a whole bottle blah 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 so that's what i used here uh, yeah i'm just blending everything out then i thought i want my um i i under eyes to be a little bit brighter so i put a little bit of my Devious Place um, concealer in I think it's J9 it is and then I set everything in place as usual with my Laura Mercier powder up my nose under my nose and then I used the purpley colour in the um, same palette for my contour for some reason, purple, deep burgundy purple looks so good on black skin and gorgeous melanated skin. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. Then I then um, mixed the two colours, three colours actually, from the same palette for a bit of a blush as well. So that's what I did there. Carved out my cheekbones a bit more. Pressed in a little bit of my NW48 powder. It's completely nearly finished now. I used it for the next look I'm going to do. I've got to edit it still. And it's finished now. Uh, that was a no foundation look. So look out for that, guys. Then I used my... Initially, I used my um, Inglot 77 Gel Liner. And then I went in with the same colours that I had used for my lids to smoke it all out my eyes have been watering like crazy it wasn't too bad in this um video next few videos it's just leaking and leaking man i need to give my makeup the makeup a rest i don't really put makeup on that much so and then i just blended everything out with my um i blended out my under eye with my um mineralized skin finish um powder in darkest deep i love i love this powder i need to get some more in different shades love it love it and love it i used to have quite a few it's all finished but i need to really stock up and then like i said i went back in to you know define my brows again i wish i could just be one of those that can just do their brows right at the end but i just feel like i can't and you can i should never say i can't because i have done it before and it looks all right let me not lie but i just feel like because my brows are tattooed, then I went in with my brow brow gel from Morphe. Because my brows are tattooed, then I went in with the Crayon Coast Brown again. And then I realised, I'm so sorry guys, me, I forget to cream my lips all. Let me not lie, I forget to grease it in the beginning. So I always end up greasing it within the video. So you don't have to endure my dry lips throughout the video. But I'm sorry about it, what can I do? 
Then I went in with, I think that was um, a lime crime shade. I forgot the colour. And then this pinky colour that I got from Wish that I've, I've had it for a few months. And I don't use it because it's, it just doesn't work for me. So I used it. It was alright. And then I went in with another lime crime colour on top of that. Sorry, not on top of that. Around... Yeah, that's the lime crime colour. Oh, is it? Yeah. Then I went in with black. I thought the black would make it more defined. So that's what I did. Cleaned up the edges. And then I went in with um, NYX butter gloss on top of that. And I was happy. Oh, gosh. And then I went in with Makeup Revolution. So I was clearly I wasn't happy. Like, bloody hell. How many did I use there, right? Eh? But anywho. Then I used the Juvia's Place Heroin 2 highlighter which I love, I love the red tones in it, I really love it, or the pinky reddy goldy tones in it, it just, it makes your skin just look like you've, you know, moisturised, you know, then I went in with my um, hair wrap, I done it the same more or less like I'd done it in my, my um, thingy before, so I tightened everything in place, Tied one knot at the back. I think I tied another one, didn't I? Or did I just leave it? Okay, no, I didn't. And then I literally just twisted another hair wrap, head wrap, around those two tails and twisted them round, 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 and round. Can you could have used any other colour, but because I knew what I was going to be wearing that day, I just used that. And I must say, guys. Let me not lie to you. I used my, I recycled my lashes and I didn't, I just don't like them. I'm not going to lie. I don't like the way my lashes are looking here. You lot might not see it. I think you can see it though because these lashes, they're on their last legs. Let me not lie to you. But like I said, it was just really, this look didn't take more than like 45 minutes. Less than that to be honest. Because like I said, I had to do, I had to do something quite quickly. So yeah guys, that's the guys even. <laughs> That's the finished look. Don't watch the lashes, please. Don't watch the lashes. Don't judge me on those lashes. I beg. I beg you. And if you do, you got problems. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's the finished look, guys. I hope you like it. Oh, you can see the lashes here a little bit, but whatever. Um, please like, share, so comment, and subscribe. I still have my online classes. Having a blast with them. It's so fulfilling to see clients feel like they can't do something and then you just guide them through doing exactly what they felt like they couldn't do. So if you want to join in, feel free to get in contact, guys. Stay blessed. Take care. Bye.